Hi, Fran Torson here. This is the first video in a series of how to create videos with PowerPoint using video embeds. Uh, I'm working with a project called 184 Things Real Estate Agents Do For You, and we have uh, lots and lots, hundreds, literally hundreds of videos in 11 different modules. And PowerPoint is one of the ways you can combine your videos and create and create new videos. Let's take a look at the basics and how we I'm working in PowerPoint 2016. The techniques I'm about to show you will work in PowerPoint 10 and more recent versions of PowerPoint. I'm not sure if they will work in older versions. So here we have a new PowerPoint, some slide content. All right. And then I'm, I'm going to get rid of that first slide. I'm going to copy that to do a control C and then just add five more. All right. I'll make a short video with that. Now here we have our PowerPoint slide, slide number one. And on slide number one, I'm going to insert a section header. I'm working offline. By the way, you can also work with YouTube videos, um, but we're going to work with our own little videos here. We're working in module eight home inspection. All right. So I'm going to take the opener here, the MP4 opener and insert that right there. Uh, as you see with, with PowerPoint, here's our video. You can move this around on the stage, just like you do any other kind of image. If we want a full size video, full frame, we can do that. We can play this and see how that, see how that looks. See? All right. So let's go and add a few more videos from the same series. All right now, let me point something else out to you too here. People may or may not have an outro, a call to action. You can build in your own outros here, right in the design when you, when you insert your video. So you can work with a template and I'll talk about this in future videos. You can work with a template with a built in call to action and you can build that. All right, let's insert another here. And I'll insert a couple and just leave them at the default size, just so that you can see what that actually looks like. But this was number one, one, two, three. And then you can see what this looks like when it's created, when we actually create the video. All right. There's another one. And on the final, now remember on the final slide, you probably want to have a call to action. I'm just going to insert another, another one of our slides right here. So again, you can either insert a call to action video you've created. And in this case, I've created all of these little videos with easy animator. Um, or you can create a uh, call to action right on the PowerPoint slide. So we can do a couple of things. First, we can take a look and we can see what the slideshow looks like before we create our video. And as you see here, I'm just moving along there. Okay. So how do we make this a video? How do we create a video using these slides where we're going to go to file and then we are going to export the file as a video, uh, we have a choice in presentation quality. We can do the best quality is presentation. That's 1920 by 1080. That's what I would recommend if you want to upload this to YouTube and use this. Otherwise you can do standard high def, which is 1280 by 70 or a low quality and, uh, and make your selection there. Um, I don't have any timings or narrations on this particular, uh, video or this presentation. I will show you more about that later. 
I don't have any music here. I'm just doing the simple down and dirty. Uh, second spent on each slide, we're going to say five. I might even make that uh, five and a half seconds, six seconds, because I know that most of my slides are about that long. So here we are. We will create the video and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like as soon as that's finished. I'm going to save this to this folder where I'm working with this, my 184, my 184 things folder, and it's saving. So what you'll see as it's saving, now as it's saving, you'll see down here on the bottom, it's creating a video presentation. And this is probably going to take anywhere from two to three minutes. Um, I'll put this on pause and I'll come back when this is finished. Let's take a look at this video. I have lots of stuff open on my computer, so I'm using a lot of resources, so it may be a little bit choppy here. Um, I should have known better than that, but at any rate, it's moving along. Okay. Here we go. So now you can see here, let me, let me pause this for a sec. You can see this is the smaller size video. If you like, you can either center that, you can have a call to action above that or on the side. You can create a neat kind of a, a neat video meme with these or lots of video memes because there were hundreds in this collection. There were literally hundreds of, uh, of videos in this collection. So that's kind of cool. All right. So that's just the, uh, you know, so there we are. That's how you do that. And we'll do some more videos and add some music and uh, sound elements and do some more stuff. Again, the, the video was a little bit choppy. I've got a ton of stuff open on my computer right now and I shouldn't have done that, but it works very, very well. Uh, then you can take this video, of course, you can upload it to YouTube, your video sharing sites and uh, embed it on your blog and use it on Facebook. If you're going to use it on Facebook, by the way, upload the actual video to Facebook. Don't use the YouTube video. Facebook will give much better exposure. You'll get a much, much uh, deeper organic reach with your videos if you use the Facebook native ad platform. All right, so we'll talk to you later.